Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla TV, here to talk to you today about RNG tank sliders. You should be looking into a set of RNG tank sliders if you're looking to get legal for track day. These are currently being made for a couple of specific bikes, we'll talk more about which ones in just a moment, but I think we're going to see a lot of these going to guys on say 0607 R6s, we're also going to see these puppies going on to Triumph Daytonas. Installation on these is a breeze. If you can put a stamp on an envelope, you can put an RNG tank slider onto your motorcycle. I'm going to call it a one beard or on our BSD or beard scale of difficulty. We'll talk in just a moment about the installation, but it's pretty simple. So let's get right down to it. We have a piece of kit up here that is really pretty self-explanatory. It's a tank slider. It's designed to protect a tank. Now some of you may be saying, well if I'm supposed to glue these things onto my tank, exactly how are these helping me? On some late model bikes, I'm thinking again specifically 0607 R6s and to a lesser extent Triumph Daytonas, you've got a fuel tank that actually overhangs the frame. It sticks out farther than the frame does. What we've seen at several spots is the bike will wind up going down and the tank, which is made of typically fairly thin gauge metal, is now grinding along the asphalt. The only problem is that fuel tank is also full of fuel. So we're creating sparks by grinding this metal along the asphalt and as you can probably surmise there's fuel now heading towards that point of exit. Fuel and sparks typically a bad idea. So if you want to keep your bike from turning into a barbecue at the track a set of, tra a set of tank sliders is probably a good idea. They're such a good idea in fact if perhaps some of you are racing in events that are uh, you know sanctioned by Weera they're actually requiring these on some bikes. Again 0607 R6s. So realistically these are something that are probably going to sell themselves very easily because your track day organization probably requires them depending on what kind of bike it is that you have. These things are constructed, as you can see here, out of carbon fiber and Kevlar. They are pretty, pretty sturdy for what they are. Considering they're lightweight and the fact that they are very thin, these actually do provide a pretty decent amount of protection, especially in an abrasive sense. So let's get on to that installation we were just chatting about. Um, installing these is super easy. As I'd mentioned, if you can put a stamp onto an envelope, you really can put a set of tank sliders onto your motorcycle yourself with very little to no help. Silicone sealant is actually provided. It comes along with these. RNG is throwing this stuff right in the box, so you don't even have to go find a uh, sealant here. You're really just going to clean up the corners of your tank. You're going to throw some of that sealant down, pop the covers on. You're going to make sure you don't have any sealant overhang. Clean that up, apply pressure to it, and you're just going to leave it to sit for 24 hours. At that point, you are legal. You are ready to go race. So just about all of you should be able to get this done uh, with absolutely no assistance whatsoever. Well, when it comes right down to it, RNG is one of the few companies that is actually making a set of tank sliders for these bikes. Given that they are absolutely necessary to go to a track day, I think these are a wonderful product. However, my opinion is not the only one that matters. Click that info button, see what some folks who have maybe sent a set of RNG tank sliders down the track have to say about them, see how their bikes held up. If you've got a question that I didn't cover in the video, or perhaps you didn't read about any of those reviews, why don't you get in touch with one of our gear geeks, cs at revzilla.com, or you can always give us a jingle in the telling bone, 877-792-9455. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.